We begin this morning with the weather. Severe weather is once again impacting millions of Americans. More thunderstorms and heavy rain caused widespread flooding in the Northeast. Thousands lost power. The storms put on quite a show. Lightning hit several New York City skyscrapers, including the new One World Trade Center. Don Daler is in Fort Lee, New Jersey, near the George Washington Bridge, where the storm caused a nightmare for drivers. Don, good morning. Good morning. Traffic is moving pretty well now, but yesterday was an absolute mess with traffic coming to a screeching halt as water overflowed onto the busy roadways, all caused by a severe weather system that pummeled this area. This flood is crazy. It was a day-long deluge that rocked the Northeast Tuesday, bringing up to four inches of rain to parts of the region. The powerful system brought a non-stop barrage of lightning and thunder. Some that even took direct aim at New York City's Empire State Building. On the city streets, the relentless rainfall brought traffic to a standstill, including this three-hour backup at the George Washington Bridge. We didn't realize why it was backed up until we got to this one area, uh, uh, an underpass, and it was, you know, up to the bottom of everyone's car flooding. This, this is bad. Traveling underground wasn't easy either. Water poured into several New York City subway stations across New Jersey. The cleanup has already begun after powerful winds knocked down trees. I was listening to see if my daughter was crying, and, and she was, and then when I went up the stairs, I could hear wind just rushing down my hallway. The system caused similar destruction in Massachusetts, where tornado warnings were issued. It was windy. I had yeah. actually just said, I kind of like a good thunderstorm, and all of a sudden it just a huge bang and the whole, you know, the whole house shook. Trees blocked roads and pulled down power lines. Even for those who've lived in the area their whole lives, the damage was unbelievable. In all my 85th years, this was a doozy. It's been drizzling on and off, but heavier rain is expected later this morning. Utility crews are already on the ground trying to restore power to some 13,000 customers. Charlie. Don, thanks. Another storm cluster caused flash flooding in eastern Idaho. Heavy rain and quarter-sized hail slammed the city of Rexburg Tuesday. Up to six feet of water covered city streets.